microchips, those tiny, unassuming pieces of silicon that power the world we live in today. From your smartphone to your laptop, your car, and even your refrigerator, microchips are the brains behind the operation. But have you ever wondered what's really inside these small yet powerful components? Welcome to Fact Fusion Network, where today, we'll dive deep inside the microchip and explore how it works. What is a microchip? So, what exactly is a microchip? Also known as an integrated circuit, or IC, a microchip is a small piece of silicon that houses millions, even billions, of tiny electrical components. These components include transistors, resistors, and capacitors, which work together to perform complex tasks at lightning speed. The silicon wafer serves as the base for the microchip. It's a semiconductor material, which means it can act as both a conductor and an insulator depending on how it's treated. This flexibility is what makes silicon the perfect foundation for building circuits. The role of transistors. At the heart of every microchip is the transistor, the building block of modern electronics. A transistor acts like a tiny switch, controlling the flow of electrical signals. It can turn on and off millions of times per second, allowing microchips to perform calculations and process data. Think of it this way, when a transistor is on, it allows electricity to pass through, representing the binary number 1. When it's off, it blocks the current, representing the binary number 0. This is how microchips store and process information, by manipulating millions of these tiny switches in incredibly complex patterns. Logic gates, the decision makers. Now, let's talk about logic gates. Logic gates are the decision makers within a microchip. By using multiple transistors, they combine electrical signals in specific ways to perform simple tasks, like determining whether a statement is true or false. For instance, an AND gate will only output a 1 foot if both of its inputs are also 1. In contrast, an OR gate will output a 1 foot if at least one of its inputs is 1. These gates form the foundation of more complex operations in computing, allowing microchips to execute everything from simple calculations to running entire operating systems. Microchip layers, building complexity. But how do we fit billions of transistors and other components into something as small as a fingernail? The answer lies in layers. Microchips are built in layers, with each layer containing different sets of transistors, interconnects, and other components. During fabrication, Patterns are etched onto each layer of the chip using a process called photolithography. This is where light is used to etch microscopic patterns onto the silicon wafer, defining where the transistors will be placed. These layers are connected by tiny wires that carry electrical signals from one part of the chip to another. As we add more layers, we can fit more components and increase the chip's power and functionality. Clock speed and performance. Another crucial aspect of microchip performance is its clock speed. This refers to how fast the chip can process information. Every microchip has a tiny internal clock that sends electrical pulses to keep everything synchronized. The higher the clock speed, the more operations a chip can perform in a second. However, higher clock speeds also generate more heat, which is why high-performance devices often require cooling systems to prevent overheating. The future of microchips as technology continues to evolve, microchips are becoming smaller, faster, and more powerful. New technologies like quantum computing and nanotechnology are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, potentially changing the entire landscape of computing in the years to come. From artificial intelligence to self-driving cars and beyond, microchips will continue to shape our future in ways we can only imagine. Microchips may be small, but their impact on our world is enormous. As they continue to evolve, the possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching Fact Fusion Network. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of microchips, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content on technology, science, and beyond.